Hello, welcome to the Metaverse DJ, and I'm Lion. I'm on Man Raptor, and our guest is well. If you don't want to, if you look at his initials, it's not BJ. It has a different <laughs> name altogether. And you are? I'm Bobby Jones. Bob. Bob. There Jones. you go. There you go. Nice coming with it. Appreciate you coming in, sir. Very yeah, much. Yeah, I appreciate so. you asking me. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. So, what is it you do here in VR? In total? Um. I just I run a couple of clubs. I run Baptism and I run RTTG. Mm -hmm. um, mm. They're both community based mm. clubs, pretty much. Uh, RTTG was the first one I started running. Uh, stands for Rave Till the Grave, and I ran that with um, one of my old college buddies. Um, he he couldn't show up today, unfortunately. He's working on our new map, but his name is Nubs, mm. uh, and we started it in Club Orion last February. Uh, oh. um, due to just covid and being bored as fuck so we started rtg then um it really started off of uh my old roommate his name is andrew uh he showed me club orion one day and i just like fell in love with the way it looked and i was like dude if i could play here i totally would so i started link posting as a dj and if you don't know what that means you just take youtube videos and put them in the player but you make a set based off of it so you know you get like 20 30 songs or whatever and then it evolved further from that. I eventually, one of my buddies actually ended up buying me a, a controller. And since then, I've like fallen in love with DJing and started a couple clubs, staff at a couple clubs. So I staff at Obsidian, RTTG, and Baptism, obviously. And then Baptism was, Baptism is like the DJ's club. Like if you go to Baptism, you go there for the DJs. A lot of DJs hang out there. Um, because it is a lineup that is made, it, it's it's essentially a hand-picked lineup each event. Once a month, it happens, drum and bass only. And Foki, the guy that I run it with, and I, um, you know, go through submissions. We've had probably 40 or 50 different DJs asked to play. And so that's like, that's like my event to sort of um, listen to music that I want to hear. Um, those are the DJs that I want to have play. Uh, which is the entire uh it's entirely opposite from rtdg where we'll let literally anybody play um link poster normal dj pre-recorded sets doesn't matter you can play there hmm. but yeah that's what i do i run rtdg and baptism so that's what i've been doing nice so what got you into vr in general like what got you here in vr chat um same same thing with my roommate Andrew. He just was like, "Dude, there's this game I've been playing. I've met a lot of cool people through here, and I would just want to see you play." And I was like, "Dude, I don't know. I think I used to think VR chat was cringe. I really did, and it was definitely a dumb decision because, on the surface, I could totally see why somebody would think it'd be a little bit weird or cringe, whatever you want to say. But like, once you get into it, there are like so many amazing people in this community um, that just are so talented you got avatar makers world makers djs all these people just pour their heart and energy and all these things and it's definitely a lot more past the surface of just people being weird um it's a very good platform <clears throat> but yeah well, that throws my, me um... out <laughs> <laughs> you... yeah shout out shout out my boy andrew okay. he showed me this game Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, well, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was sorry they got the whips and chains out for you. It just made you work so hard. Damn, yeah, make you push the trucks now, aren't they? It's out of a bitch. Make you play on VR. It makes it so bad. VR chat's <laughs> a lot like a hometown. Once you get there, you never leave. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, Very but, true, but you know what happens in hometowns, right? You can't piss off your porch without everybody going, I bet you I got 10 bucks. He pisses and misses the fucking rock house six steps out. No, oh, VR... okay, I'll buy tickets on Don't that. Don't worry. VR chat's yeah, not a place like pretty that. Much. VR chat's a place where people want to be pissed on. I was just going to say that, dude. That's so fucking true. <laughs> You'll see someone you're in and you go, me next, what? me next. I'll be your toilet. It's like, why? Yeah, they why don't care you if like you this? miss, bro. They want to get hit with it. Because they can't do it in real life because nobody's standing outside their door going, say, I told you some dumb fucker would walk by and go pee on me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's an interesting place. 
So do you make your own music? Yes. Or do you like create lists from things? Oh man, dude, I've tried. I've tried to make my own music with FL, mm -hmm. and dude, it is fucking hard. Like, if you're a music pro producer, dude, like the amount of skill and effort you have to put into it to make something that doesn't sound like shit is so insane. Yeah. And right now I'm in college. I don't have time to pick up another thing to do. Like DJing is already, I probably DJ 10 times a week. So that's enough hobbying for me. I can't, I don't have time to make music right now. Fair enough. There goes your sex life. <laughs> oh, yeah. The non-existent one. I'm a VR chat player. <laughs> that, <bro. laughs> well, that, that's what I said. There goes your sex life. Well, the closest no, thing most VR chat players get to a sex life is advanced porn, which is ERP. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, wait a minute! Oh, man. Wait a minute! Hey, the closest I think get for my sex life is when the fan turns my way. Give me a break, okay? It takes a lot to get that. <laughs> and then you go, "Wow, I feel great now." All right? Yeah. Uh -huh. You. Yeah. <laughs> You know, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, be, sorry, Bobby. You just didn't know me too well. Now you do, and you're screwed. I'm We're, sorry. You you know what? I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Be yourself, okay, man. That's cool. That's all we we'll give you. That's all we give a shit. shit. <laughs> that's all we give a shit. We don't feel. If that's the case, well, you know what it'd be like when it came to me. They'd be going, "Wow, look at the stick person being there. Isn't he saying anything? But his mouth's moving." Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, true. yeah, I got you. <laughs> Godzilla, if you get my Ooh. drift. Godzilla, yeah. Uh -huh. So I have a fun question for you since <laughs> you're in the clubbing community. I ask everybody this. Yeah. If there's something VR chat could do differently or change or VR to, have, to make what you do easier or run smoother, what would it be? Oh, something that VR chat. Uh, I think if you are a person who uploads a world. So, okay, let me start from square one. Mm-hmm. How we run events is we need a bot to have people to join on because, to be fair, I don't want, like, 700 people I just don't know on my friends list. It's just something I don't want. Yep. So we have a join bot that we have somebody with an extra PC to run. Yep. Uh, what I would want is you can make a designated list of people who are, quote-unquote, instance owners. Yep. So you don't have to just upload the world, and then those people have instance actions to where they can kick whenever they need to. Yeah. Oh, um, we've run into a couple of issues where, like – some asshat is in the lobby and we have to get our bot runner to kick them. But like if I could just assign staff to be able to kick people, that would be extremely helpful. Hmm. Okay. That's Makes the first sense. time we've heard that. Makes answer. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's never heard anything pick. like that. Hmm. I've That'd heard be it, cool. It would be cool. I've heard a lot of interesting answers. And like, for example, we talk with some adult clubs on the channel of VR chat and uh, yeah. a common thing with them is they wish VR chat would have ID verification of some sort though. It's separate adults from kids. that's a good one. Yeah. That's a very good one. Yeah. Lisa, even if Make you don't separate the them, door, <laughs> even if they got a blue check mark or something up near their names, you know, yep. They've, they've shown their ID. Yeah. I don't need to pay attention. And that way you kind of really, no, that's a good one. That legal experience from people. I feel like that's a point of server rules almost. Like 99% mm. of the people who are going to be coming through on VR chat join the Discord or vice versa. So it's a pretty overlapping community. So I figure, you know, if if you're underage and you click the check mark like that you're overage and you just lie to anybody, like nothing as a club owner you can really do about it. Um, mm. You can do individual ID checks, but to be fair, I don't know who has time for that. I know I don't have time to sort through 800 different IDs. Make sure everybody's of age. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's something that's kind of annoying about the clubbing scene, like making sure everybody's of age, because obviously you don't want a person under 18 to be coming to these events for obvious reasons. Yeah. And a lot of people seem to lie about it, but it is what it is. It happens. Yeah. We were talking with a DJ on our channel. I think it was uh, DJ Woke Dago, Greyhound Ferret in VR chat. And he mentioned something like there's a group of people making an app that's like a a club calendar that also will act as like id verification something that's they're talking interesting about okay so you do something yeah. like put the link in your bio or something and then with that said you can take that and you're like oh yeah no they they have an account and then therefore they're good that'd be kind of sick yeah no i've i've talked with uh i've talked with greg quite a few times actually that's that's a cool app i haven't heard of that hmm yeah it's there, uh, that's one of the things I like about VR chat with all the problems that it has is the 
the community is very quick to come up with solutions for things that VR chat may not have time to do or want to do. For sure. And it's fantastic. Like for example, would you guys Yeah, that do... would be super nice. Hmm. We'll see if it comes uh, comes around though. That'd be amazing to hear to, to actually see clubs have some form of ID verify without actually having a look at your ID. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So what have you had any problems before clubbing and stuff with people kids? with underage people or yeah. all of the above? Yeah, I actually had <laughs> funny that you mentioned that I actually had to ban somebody the other day for uh, being underage. Literally, I think yesterday. Um, oh. I haven't had uh, a problem past just somebody being like, hey, I'm underage. I mean, they just get insta banned. Like, I don't. I don't have issues with that because um, it's it's as soon as I find out it's zero interaction. Yep. So past past just not knowing if somebody's underage, I have not had any issues with that. No. Okay, that's good to hear. Yeah. Hmm. Understandable. I've I've huh. as as much as a bunch of people in, in like the news show will throw a stink like kids in VR chat clubs or whatever, but it doesn't happen all too often. A lot of people don't even know club again VR. I think it exists. does happen a lot. Well, I think it does happen a lot. And there's, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen Twitter drama about shit like that, but it happens. Mm. I think the reason people think it doesn't happen that much is because uh, a lot of people just lie about it. Uh. Like the person that I had joined the server that I had to ban the other day, uh, you know, obviously verify that they were 18 by clicking on the rules. Obviously, to be in the server, you have to verify with the rules. And if you, you know, lie or make shit up that you're of age, um, you know, there's nothing really you can do about it. And there's no way that I can prove that somebody's lying unless they, of course, tell me, right? Yeah. So that's kind of the issue with, with that, I guess. I don't know. It's definitely a slippery slope and it's hard to deal with, but it happens. Yeah. Understandable. And, well... I like, for example, like I'm sure a lot of people in the real world don't know this, but if you're talking some VR chat players, a lot of people don't know. Uh, here, for example, they don't, don't even know you can club in VR chat. They'll see like a club world and go, "Oh, cool!" That's I find cool that surprising. World. It's it's one so of those a lot things. of it. A yeah. lot of it goes on. A lot of it goes on. A lot of it more I mean, than what you like, think it is. Yeah, I could fucking list you know 20 clubs off the top of my head. I'm surprised it's not like a more mainstream thing in VR chat. I mean, think well, about it, dude. Like. Mm. Clubbing in VR is like one of the prime like clubbing in real life, but you don't have to leave your damn house. Like, yeah, <laughs> like dude, you could just sit on your ass and drink all day. <clears throat> yeah, well, I, I just say that because a lot of, with a lot of clubs, whether it's dancing, rave, or more spicier versions, it's one of those things where you have to know someone to be to to know who's in the club or staffs the club to even know it exists. Most people see those worlds and assume, oh, cool, that's a cool world. Someone must have wanted to make it, and then that's about as far as it goes. Yeah, like word yeah, of well, mouth. Yeah, is yeah, huge yeah. I guess. For, I mean, I had this same similar experience. Yeah. Like if you don't, I could totally see that. At least that's from my from what I've seen and talked to people. I could be wrong, or I could just be immensely sheltered. <laughs> Either or. No, I actually think that's that's pretty. If I that think was, you're actually pretty right on there. If that's the case, I was because the first two years on here, I didn't know they had any of that until somebody fucking. Hey, you want to send me an invite to go? You end up just going, what the fuck? Because, you know, you didn't have, you didn't search for that kind of shit. You just room hot. Because mm. that was the only yeah. thing you could actually do. So, so until they start kicking the room, you know, you know, the different situations and everything else. I'm just curious, Bobby, how in the, between the two setups you do, how many people do you actually hang with that that's you know not i'm talking like your discord like thing and everything else like this or like what do you mean no the, the part of the group that you hang not your personal friends because if that's the case jesus christ i got a shit oh. ton but i'm How talking just the the dancing members and stuff like that that yeah. you have that you yeah rttg that come to your setup 800 the other day wow in the Whoa. discord server so we just hit 800 the other that's day that's fucking RTTG. Wow, that's good. And then that's damn baptism, good. Baptism, we started. Uh, we started baptism. I think January twenty fifth. Okay, real quick here, I can just scroll up. January twenty seventh, we started baptism, and we're at two hundred and ten members. Wow. I think in baptism. So wow. that's not. Wow, yeah. that's pushing. So not, that's really going not good. Bad. Hmm. Yeah, baptism no, is not going at very all. well. That's damn good. That's damn that's, good. Yeah. 
We'll have well, to make a note to go to that. To, we'll have to go to that line. Have a good old time. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'll definitely show up one of these days. Um, I'll make a point yeah, to dude, do it. We got a lot of shit planned for it. Hmm. Funny thing is, is like people in the real world seem like I was talking to people I work with out in the real world, and they seem to be immensely shocked that DJs are even exist in this game. They just see memes and what they see in the news. They're like, okay, cool. Like hell, I even learned the past yeah. past a couple months that people who produce music in real life DJ for clubs such as what you do. I was baffled by that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's surprising. Like, um, we have DJs from all over the world that play at RTDG. We have people from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, um, Europe. Uh, we got a- some African DJs, Australian DJs, obviously a shit ton of NA DJs. So, like, I mean, it- it's it's pretty crazy how, I guess, connected you can be with people on the internet. Um, Mm. it certainly wasn't something I expected, especially with a video game like VR chat. Like, dude, I could go, I could probably go into any room in this game and find at least one DJ. Like that's how, that's how we built the community. Like just world hopping and finding DJs or playing in club Orion, like link posting Mm. for eight hours a day. Like just find like a shit ton of DJs. Oh, wow. Hmm. So what's, What's some of your favorite memories since you started in the whole clubbing scene? Oh, geez. Favorite memory? Um, Probably, so I was in this group. Uh, These are like some of my really close friends. It's called VR Whores. Mm -hmm. And um, my favorite memory from that, just in general from clubbing, is probably we had a pool party day collab. That was pretty fucking sick. Um, The wall that we used was really shittily optimized. So, I mean, people were crashing left and right, but we didn't drop below full the entire time. It was it was a really good time, very good time. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, uh we had a similar experience. We'd kind of gather a bunch of people for like a birthday celebration thing, and we had enough people in the world where everyone crashed every couple of minutes. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. VR chat for you, dude. Oh yeah. Although at least the at least with VR chat and like for the world optimization, you can see it's getting better over time. For sure, dude. For sure. Like if you're looking at some the of the improvements whole... that Nubs has made from. Yeah. Sorry. Continue. My bad. No, you got it. You got <laughs> it. No, you're good. I was just gonna say, for like from the old worlds, back in the day, if you look at those compared to some of the ones that come out now, like the graphical difference is huge. Even optimization difference. You know, it's crazy. It's it's super crazy. And I haven't been playing VR chat for that long. I've been playing the day the day before I made RTG I've been playing, which was like January thirty first or some shit. January thirtieth. Um but like it, it's been crazy just to see the world's um quality increase from the start of me playing to now. Like shit, even Club Orion, dude. Like Club Orion went from like a pretty it wasn't horribly optimized, but it certainly wasn't top tier. And now it's like phenomenal. Like they have some of the best lighting in any VR chat world I've seen, like any club world. And, mm. you know, they're competing with some of these people who make club worlds for a living. Um, wow. And they're doing, they're doing great. Like, yeah, club Orion is, is crazy with their lighting and their player and other settings that are, are wild. I've haven't been a club Orion much, to be honest. I've never went to one of their events. Oh, so I uh, um that's where we started. That's why I, like oh. I have to pay some tribute to Orion like before we had our own venue, we would use um their venue and it was it's always been there for us. It's always been a fun experience. I've never had one bad event in the Club Orion. Um it's just kind of like a public club. Yep. That you can, you know, throw events at whenever, but it's it's really fucking dope. I'm really liking it. Hmm. So is uh have you had a chance to ever talk with some of the OG VR VR check clubs in your time clubbing um, and owning one? It depends on what you mean by OG. Like I've I've talked with the owner of Tube. Mm-hmm. Um if that's what you mean, like tube oh, levels yeah. of like old. Mm-hmm. Cause they're I think I think they just had their two year anniversary like the other day. Oh wow. So they're definitely a lot they're not so much older than us but they've also been established irl a lot longer i'm sure hmm. 
Have you ever got yeah. the chance to learn anything from them? If you ever had a chance to talk with anyone like Oh that. yeah. Oh absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Um not even talking with like the owners or event runners I've learned stuff. Like the way they run their so they okay, so they have this thing where they just run their normal tube events, which I believe are bi weekly. Um, every other Saturday where they just do you know, you run into their world and then Hadian gets to line up and whatnot. But they have this other thing that's a community based event called uh conduit and so what it is it's if you're a dj and you sign up uh you can just throw an event in their world whenever oh wow. and one of the things that they have that's extremely helpful that i didn't even consider is they have a club designated vrcdn now if you don't know what vrcdn is it's a low latency streaming network that you yep. can use for djing or whatever you want but they have theirs a uh, Distributed to every DJ that plays there. Oh. So if you're playing a Conduit event, you have the same link as the previous guy. The the previous guy stops his live stream. You you start yours, and there is like two second delay before the next stream is in. You don't even have to put any links in. Oh wow! Having like that, yeah, it's crazy, dude. Because like normally when we do DJ transitions at like an RTTG or baptism event, it takes you know thirty seconds to a minute depending on link finding and making sure the DJ is ready. But like the way conduit runs is so smooth. Like me and my, me and my buddy Foki, we run fast tempo Tuesdays every other Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And that low delay just like keeps the energy high the entire time. Extremely helpful. Oh, wow. I'm sure. So as I take it over time, you've solved and learned to solve most of those little, little issues that you find, like the delay between links and stuff like that. Or are you still finding? Yeah. We still actually, so moving. through, yeah, through, through Conduit, we got our own tube, or our own, not tube, our own club CDN. So, mm -hmm. so RTTG has our own CDN now. Um, my event, or my staff manager and I are working on it. Um, but we do have our own CDN in the works. So eventually when we run events, we'll just distribute the CDN link to all our DJs. And they don't have to share their links or whatever. All they got to do is click go live and it automatically... So this is in the world, um, but I'll have to be working with nubs on that because our second rendition of our world is now coming out on oh, Saturday. Wow. So we'll have to figure out how that's going to load into like the player and whatnot. And then we also have to do some tests because obviously I don't want to test something that could destroy the entire event on an important event. Hmm. And all events are important. So I'm I'm thinking of pop up test eventually, but me and that man organizer got to work on that. Understandable. So what are some of the small de uh, details that you didn't expect would uh, you'd have to work through when you first started making a club? And crashers. Crashers. Mm. I did not expect crashers to be so prevalent. Like, how, how, how much of an asshole do you have to be to go into a lobby of, like, you know, 50 to 80 people and just destroy the lobby just for, like, shits and giggles? Like, damn, dude, that is just... I don't yeah. know, crashers, I didn't expect to be that bad at all. Like and um what else, dude? Uh world optimization and world file sizes. Uh, um currently our club is like four hundred megs and which is fucking huge for a club world. I believe Orion's like two sixty. Yeah. So I mean it, it it adds up. It certainly adds up when you're world hopping. Um but hmm. you know, some little 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 things like that. Small optimizations here and there certainly help. Hmm, that's good to know. So how did you figure out to deal with those things as time went on? Uh, crashers, it, I mean, EAC, whether people want to agree with it or not, whether people loved mods or not, completely eliminated crashers, at least in my personal experience. Mm -hmm. I have not had one crasher hit me since EAC came out. I know that was a very controversial update for VR chat, um, but uh, shit, you gotta admit it works. Like I haven't, I haven't been crashed since. Like, hmm. um, and then world optimization. Um, I I know fuck all about Blender and Unity. That is entirely one hundred percent nubs, and hmm. I I think he just spends a shit ton of time doing it because he really loves world modeling. I mean, uh. The crazy thing is I, I was lucky enough to find somebody who would do it just out of the passion of wanting to do it. But some of these worlds cost a shit ton of money that I just don't have being a college student. Yeah. And um, 
I don't know. Nubs just like <clears throat> hand sense. models everything, dude. Like from the ground up, everything in our world was made by him. Like textures, models, everything, lighting, everything. Wow. Like it's crazy. That's awesome and impressive. It's very, very sick. The new world is fucking gorgeous. We'll have to check it out. Well, I'll also put a uh, a world link for for you right down in the description. Make sure you check down there. Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, you know, for in terms of like crashers and stuff, I've in the people we've talked to, there's a uh, one club called Club Vixen, and they do spicy stuff. And but they, I learned from them, okay. there's something called the Council of Clubs. It's like a yep player. You yep, know, yep, yep, I'm in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that was in existence till I started Metaverse DGen. <laughs> they, I didn't know the player community does it. Wow, so. crazy. Yeah, I didn't know. Although I've also no, there's wasn't. there's a lot of. Go ahead. Sorry. So I didn't know there was uh, player run, uh, research and policing, like that. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Um, I'm actually in one that's slightly larger than COC. It's called OC Blacklist. Oh. Um. And they they have like shit. I don't know. It, it's something they have at least right now. Just online, they have 112 club owners just online. Oh wow! In the server, and so they take like, I mean, shit. If you scroll through the channels, there's hundreds of people listed here that are like on lists, whether they're banned or underage or crashers or hackers or avatar rippers or whatever you want to say they have fucking like 200 channels dude it's it's crazy how organized some of these people are and that must be a job in and of itself to keep something like that going i can only imagine like dude, I don't, it has to be yeah like a fox was telling us like they have people who actively investigate people and they watch you to see if what the, the allegations are true and then you're saying they have some some of them have lots of channels like I, that must be a job to keep that going like damn oh yeah <laughs> that's well they have i mean shit they got they got pings they just had a ping the other day for um like new staff and they're looking oh. for i think they said 16 new staff which is that's like for a vr chat anything 16 staff is huge dude like yeah it's a lot of people. That is a lot of people, and I don't. I do they do people like that make any money doing it, or is it like they do it straight out of passion? Dude, I don't know. I I couldn't tell you. I don't know OC Blacklist enough or the people in there to tell you if they make money off of it. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Um, mm. only because like it's really honestly a huge service of the community to know like whether or not the people in your lobbies are dickheads or not. Like. Yeah, that information is invaluable, really, and I think that it's mm. super cool what they do. That even yeah. if they do get paid for it, like doing something like that is obviously they're doing it for the community. I mean, you, I don't think you need something this intense for just like personal use. No, no. So no. I mean, I don't know if if they if they get paid like damn good on them because they're doing a phenomenal job. Yeah, in a world before EAC, like even with EAC running now. Finding a way to deal with those people, I'm sure VR Chat found a headache doing. Even now with EAC runs, oh, yeah. so having some like COC or OG, the uh, the blacklist you just told us about, a community run things like that is a phenomenal and amazing thing to see run. Like if there's issues, VR Chats usually at some level will solve it itself. Like even new tech that comes out, usually VR Chats the first ones to get it. Like someone's found some Unity mm -hmm. patch to get it running, or if there's a problem like crashers, there's discords that'll list all the crashers and all the issues. Like it's amazing to see all this happen here. Like, this yeah, it's is... cool, but it's it can also be a really dangerous tool. Like, yeah, um, I've heard some stories. Now I'm not going to go into any names or whatnot, but there I'm are certain people you. that will get you perma banned from, you know. Few different clubs because you crossed them or made them annoyed or pissed them off, uh, um, and yeah. that, that happens all the time, dude. With this witch really? hunting bullshit, where like people think it's funny or cool to get somebody banned, you know. And, and and the sad truth is, dude, like 
a lot of the people who get witch hunted are usually people with mental issues because they oh. interact poorly with some people and they don't really mix well. Uh. And so people kind of take that, you know, like face value, like, wow, this person is weird. And then they get banned from, you know, fucking 20, 30 clubs tomorrow, like the next day. That so, is... I mean, it, it's a good tool, but like yeah. there are definitely a lot of not very good people who yeah. witch hunt people and it's pretty bad. Yeah, the sad truth about uh, reality and the internet, no matter where you go, there will always be people like that. Let the world burn kind oh, of people. Oh, for sure. And it is sad and to like see the, people yeah. that happen to, or hear about it anyway. For sure. Cool. Sorry if I interrupted you. Oh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. No, you're, you're good. Yeah, so... Hell, I ain't interrupting anybody, boy. This is going. The phone won't fucking shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Mm. Well, I missed half the conversation, so I have no fucking clue, folks, what the fuck's going on. (laughs) So I better off just standing in the rain. No, it's raining outside. (laughs) Mm. We're talking about we're talking about people getting witch hunted. Not not a great combo. Oh, really? Um, Oh, hey, that's cool. That's cool. He was mentioning that there are, you know, like the council of clubs that Fox told us about. Well, he was saying there are people who mm-hmm. use that to witch on people for whatever he's going to get across. Maybe they don't like them just to get him banned because they did something or didn't do something. Is he talking about? Yeah, that's that's what's weird. That's a lot of that in here. That's a lot of you piss one person off and it seems like you get it's like if you uh, stole water from somebody else's yard. Right? And everything else before it's over, the whole neighborhood's on your butt, knowing you actually you didn't do a damn thing. It just somebody else blew it out of proportion. Mm. And it just go escalates. It's just one of those things. Yep, that it's is, nothing new. It's, it's huge, dude. Nothing new. This shit happens it all the time. All the fucking time in here. Instead of worried about what's in your own backyard. No, oh, well, let's add six or seven other people with it so I got some backing, knowing is, the, is it true or not true? Yeah, a lot mm-hmm. of people are just... It, like in general, like even in VR chat, gen, like general VR chat, people are really excited for drama. I don't understand why. People are like, oh, oh did you hear yeah, about Jenny or Johnny? Why? And well, then why? You know go, why, don't you? Why? You know why, don't you? That's why motherfuckers go to goddamn bars. Because they can't, you know, <laughs> wow, I got to listen to my wife, bitch. So I go to the bar to listen to everybody else's shit. Because I don't want to listen to my wife. <laughs> dude, I, VR chat players got something. I know, drama, dude. These bitches. I know that for Always perfect. got something. <laughs> always. <laughs> hey, I worked in bars. I worked in bars. You come in there and you're you're sober. They get drunk and the shit just like you just like reached around, put a couple quarters in the back of their neck, pulled their ear, and watched the shit come out. Because oh yeah. fuck, here it comes. <laughs> it just holy Christ, you bitch about that, 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 that. Is your wife in there somewhere? Oh, she's at home. I don't care. We're not going to get on that subject. And that's usually how it goes. I'm like, whoa. Mm. And it has nothing to do with squat. Don't even deal with work. It's just everybody goes to the bar to get drunk and let the bartender hear about half the crap that nobody really gives a flying what's going on. Well, mm-hmm. I see so, a lot of people coming but to that's way it goes. to drink now. Like they'll come here specifically to drink, whether it's going to drinking nights or clubs, such as what you run. Like ever since like what COVID started. Well, uh, but logically, look, line. What do you prefer? Come in here and get shit faced off your ass in your own goddamn home, knowing that if I went to a bar, got drunk off, might have to drive six blocks and get busted before I even get my fucking driveway, and there goes enough. everything to. Better off fucking drink where you're at and say, fuck it, I don't have to worry about it because they ain't going to bust my ass for drinking in my own house unless they get to that extreme. Who knows what the fuck's going on? But, mm. but yeah, that's pretty much where it's going at because, you know, don't, don't get me wrong, in the town I'm in, it's it's not that way. But if you get into bigger areas where VR is kicking in the balls like it is, it's people get the idea oh wow i can drink and shoot the shit with people across seas and get fucking drunk with them oh wow and blah 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 and when it's all said and done all i have to do is shut it off and flop to the bed right beside me and i'm done it's simple fucking crap you know or go to a rave or whatever i've seen a lot of people come into vr chat sober never drinking anything 
and then cut a year or so in yeah. chronic alcoholic yes mm-hmm. yes <laughs> it is yes, a weird it, side effect it's like chat. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's dangerous too dude mm-hmm. it's really bad mm-hmm. i've had quite a few people in my time of running events just fucking passed out in the corner it's like dude you genuinely need some help like mm. it's it's pretty bad it, that's probably my least favorite thing about vr chat just the amount of other than the drama just the amount of alcoholism that just runs rampant through communities is is absolutely fucked yeah like you got people bragging about taking out a half a bottle of fucking whiskey or whatever. It's like, dude, that is that is dangerous. That is not something to be proud of, dude, like, no. at all. It is scary and sad. Let's be honest. Yeah. Like, I've seen people, like, get absolutely... I never do stuff. nothing like that. I'm an innocent bystander. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me that way. <laughs> Don't look at me that You're way. As innocent that's not funny. Raptor. You're as innocent raptor as I am, and that's a big no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm lower to the ground, so the shit's gonna hit me a lot closer than you are. You can at least walk through it. I gotta drown in it. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> oh, so go, he's ma- he's making a good point. Yeah, he, he a, a thimbleful, and you'll no. be done. <laughs> you know, shit. <laughs> Although I'm surprised, something like uh, VR Chat AA hasn't po- popped up yet. Like, I'd like to see something like that. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That'd be hilarious, though. <laughs> I wouldn't be, in the next couple months, I would not be surprised at all. Like, uh, can you imagine that? Oh, wow, can you imagine going, sorry, buddy, you drink way too much. You've been in my club six or seven times, passing out in the corner. Here's a card for AA. It's, it's right over there. Just go Here's a couple rooms down. Card. <laughs> well, let's be honest. If these people who are alcoholics go to an actual oh, AA wow. meeting and talk about their drunk experiences, how would you explain drinking in VR chat? Yeah, I was drinking with Shrek over this other time. They would think you're high as fuck. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Or drunk. Yeah, or drunk like who the fuck wrong. is Shrek? Who in the hell is Shrek, man? What the hell? Don't people have real names? What are you talking about, dude? It's not in real life. I just do it at home and do it in VR. What? <laughs> what? Unless <laughs> you eventually cross what? the internet with you know furries and a fucking Lego man. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that- I was partying with a furry Lego man in a fucking small fox. What? What about huh? Small fox. You know, small guy. You know. <laughs> Small fox. Fuck. And he was just having a blast, and we were having a conversation. And then this this woman come in with her boobs hanging down to the floor, dragging across with a wheelbarrow. What? You know, you just, <laughs> right there, you, they just go, hold on, don't move. I'll get the phone out and call the guys in the white coats. They're taking your ass away. <laughs> you are gone. Straight to the fucking insane asylum. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I just gonna say a lot of things that happen in VR chat. If you're to go to like AA, that as I said, those must be the hardest things to explain to people you're doing or what's going on. At least if it's here, like a VR chat AA, at least you know it'll be believable and you won't end up in a psych ward. <laughs> yeah, true, well, true, true. <clears throat> well, it's funny because I've mentioned this to you before. I remember going when I was in college to core the course plan, right? Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Correct. Right. You work in an alcohol facility, blah, 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 making beer. And you walk down the hall where you're doing through the person showing you, and all of a sudden there's a door that says AA on it. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, wow. You get to work here, get drunk, and get to be – they pay for my AA classes. Wow, that's great. So what do you do? Oh, I go from work right to the AA room. I got nothing better to do in my life because I'm drunk and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Oh boy, fuck. Well, he tells you something's going down, right? Mm. Well, I've noticed in VR chat a lot more serious things popping up. Like, for example, in Japan, there's a uh, group of people making a VR chat college. For example. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, VRC cool. Academy, I think That'd is what different. it's called. And That's I, cool. That is cool. Like, th- I think there are a lot of more serious businesses yeah. coming here. Well, not as frequently, but like people community creating things. And. I'd like to see the community, like, as I said, there's a, we need to deal with the alcohol problem. Kids are going to grow up in VR chat, hang out For with sure. people, be around alcoholism more so than what would be their own families. And then they grow up and they be an alcoholic because people in VR chat need people to drink with. Congrats, you're 21. Party with us over here. At... 
<laughs> My dad's an alcoholic on VR. He won't go. He don't. He comes home from work and he's just. <laughs> <laughs> my mom my mom's not a drug addict she's just an alcoholic how do you know i don't know she just gives us tv dinners and pot pies i never see her she's always in her bedroom all the time she's got a thousand oh my hours God. of your chat that's how we know <laughs> <laughs> daddy why is mom that's drunk so in bed in the bedroom screaming ooh, ooh every three seconds sweetie just go back to your room and go the other way <laughs> don't don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. They have an AA class meeting in there. Mommy will come back sooner or later. We just got to get her there. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't even have to be drunk to be fun in here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Jesus, dude. And see, but the sad thing is, bro, it's all fucking true. That's the sad it's part, true. part, dude. <laughs> part, yes, it's true. The amount it of crazy so shit is here. Hit the nail on the damn head, true, bro. As funny mm. as this, as the fake scenario yeah, Raptor and I just threw out, there is real life scenario that happened like that somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Word mm. for word. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, now that we're on, now that we're on the topic of it, dude. <laughs> shit, like we're talking, we're talking families, you know, outside of VR chat. What do y'all think about the idea of being a VR mom to somebody? Oh, have you guys heard of this? I we talk, I, we've talked about this shit a lot. Yeah, but I think VR it's interesting that are mom. I think it's interesting. It's very like, interesting. I, I don't want to seem like it's it's like a bad thing. I just I think maybe oh, yeah. it's just kind of well, strange. See, uh, Bobby, I've strange. got a girl. I got a girl in here that her dad died five years ago, and she claims me as dad. But the only way it would have worked is my real daughter had to be okay with her. But she's across seas, and she she comes up and calls me dad. I am a dad. I can't lie about what I am. Yeah. But you know that kind of deal. And we got another person that comes up and calls me dad calls him uncle stuff like this but he's artistic so yeah see you know it's you got to know your field of what's going on now it's a difference that you are a 30 year old person and you're running up to somebody and calling them mom yeah and you're going excuse me and you're acting like you're only 16 but you're 30 years of age now you're talking to a complete dog ball of wax that you're just going huh well, you just yeah. can't get your head around it. Now I can understand that situation. If you're right. a thirty-year-old acting like acting like a child for another thirty-year-old, you're re losing the realm of cute and going into the realm of disturbing and very much adult-related. Padded cell. You know there are people oh who get God. off to that shit, right? <laughs> Being a child. Yada, yeah, but yada, that's. Yada. Oh yeah, I know, but I said a padded cell. Oh yeah, you know, no. somebody's bringing the coats again. Mm, yeah. The coats. Yeah, somebody's bringing the coats. In the coats, man. Always have the coats. Hey, <laughs> folks! If you don't have that white coat, make sure it doesn't say "doctor" on it. You'll be okay. Oh uh, yeah, if, no problem. If your <clears throat> check was to is to uh, send coats to people, this place would get empty real fast, real fucking fast. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah. How yeah. many people were in VR this week? This week, two. How do you know? Well, now it's down to one. Somewhere <laughs> wrong <coach> now. <laughs> I know the coach got him, man. Oh Lord, that'd be a hilarious short uh, VR chat short film. Well, you just call it Coats. <laughs> VR chat players disappearing yeah, to totes. insane asylums. <laughs> well, now watch. Wait a minute. We already talked about AA classes, right? Here, pretty soon they'll have a state asylum with padded rooms. <laughs> They're already VR, VR. Chat places like that. <laughs> I know, but you gotta be in the cell for an hour before you can do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before you can be released. Uh -oh. Eventually, they'll be staffed by real people, and you'll have to deal with real doctors. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah, and then then you have it on bottom, have it on bottom me too, right? I well. A VR chat lobotomy, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. The scary thing is, if, if VR develops to the realm of Sword Art Online, that may be an actual possibility. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, let's just think of it, it's like Sword Art Online, where you have like a self-contained thing that reads your brain and overwrites your senses. It could very much just like, these nerves are no longer a thing. 
and then off you go, lobotomized. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'll be like this. Don't worry, don't worry, Billy. Mommy's getting a bottom eye. She won't be an alcoholic anymore. You don't have to worry about it. She'll be okay. She just stand in the corner. Be used as a coat rack. <laughs> it's no big deal. Rap, did you just see the men in black that came and just flashed our friend over here? She's not moving anymore. What happened? She was lobotomized. Just go somewhere else. Dude, that's, just, that's so okay. Fun. Just take your coat off and <laughs> take your hat off, put it on there, and tell her to hold her arms out like a stiffy. We'll put the coats on it. We'll Excuse be okay. me, sir. Just look into the into the device. Thank you very much. Flash. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, God. Got all lobotomized. There you go. Oh, you know wow. <laughs> hey, who are you? Oh, you're not my mom. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, my mom's in the real world. Okay. Nope. I gotta go now and see mom. <laughs> I gotta see mom. What the hell is this shit on my face? What the hell is this crap? Oh, yeah, I got you. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> VR chat is a wild place. <laughs> for better or worse. Yes, it, it is. <laughs> no matter. And it's a good place to. Well, the biggest thing in here is if you're really looking to me, like, probably just like Bobby, you, you get to meet so many people. So many people oh, knowing yeah. you can't step on the ground that they're in mm. and they feel safe. Who cares? But at least you could say, you, hey, yeah, I got, I talk to people across these all the time. They look at you probably in real life. How the fuck do you do that? I didn't think, I thought you were afraid of water and, and you can't swim. What the fuck are you talking about? I talk about a VR, you moron. I don't <laughs> swim anywhere. You, what the hell? You know, but. <laughs> Yeah. Way it goes. It, it is one of the coolest things. Like before, I hopped in VR. I didn't know anyone across seas. Now I know people in Europe, over in South America, Asia, Japan. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. It's awesome too. Mm -hmm. It's all over the place. Plus, you get to learn more what somebody else does, something you don't know or they don't know, and they pass it around. That's another thing. It's about. It don't matter if it's electronics, what cars. It don't matter. If you got something you're interested in, you're having trouble. Somebody somewhere in here might know and that's exactly. what's nice about it and besides it's really you know, quick to help you too like i've noticed that uh, if you, you have a problem maybe yes. your oh, yeah. cr is funky someone somewhere will know and take the time out of the day to help you very quickly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. it don't matter if you're a quest or who you and that's that's cool mm. you know too bad you get once you take the headset off you don't get that in real society nope everyone's that's too the busy issue. With... yeah well I th in VR, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about image, reputation, things like that. So a lot of people here, it's like, yeah, sure. Here's stuff. I'll be blunt and open with you. Here's my real life. And, if you, and over in the real world, outside the VR headset, a lot of people are terrified to even tell you what their history is. Because mm -hmm. what if I get canceled? What if someone doesn't like me? What if I lose my job? And it's like everyone's so quick to clam up. Mm -hmm. mm. Very Although, true. It's one of the good things about VR. Everyone's very open. It's also one of the downsides. You know what everyone's up to. They'll tell you. <laughs> so I said you're back in town. Numbers. Didn't I tell you? We're back in town again. Somebody's pissing off the ports and somebody's selling <laughs> tickets. You're just doing it again in VR. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Bobby J, for joining us. We appreciate your time immensely. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm glad you all had me on here. It was I'm a good time. Hmm. But I'm not going to call you. I'm just going to call you BJ. So, um, don't take it wrong, Bobby. You guys take care. <laughs> Have a good oh, one. If there's, if there's anything you, you'd like to plug, feel you're more than welcome. Oh, yeah. To. Whoops. My bad. Yeah, please do. Uh, so. Whoops. Shit. Uh, no, I ain't plugging join, that join down there. Join, join the discords. Uh, Discord.gg forward slash baptism. Discord.gg forward slash RTTG. Check me out on SoundCloud, uh, Bobby JVR. Hmm. Um, uh, you can follow my Twitter, DJ Bobby J VR. That that's probably all I got. Okay. Well, enjoy be the rest of the morning. descriptions, folks. Always be down, down there. below in the descriptions. I'm and, the bear. You got it. And also enjoy Bye. the rest of your morning. Look out for the coats. <laughs>